Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Gill Old School Mexican Bag Mitts. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I am doing a review on these Gill Old School Made in Mexico bag gloves or bag mitts if you want to call them. I got them in black and in size large. They also have these in size medium just depending on the size you're looking for or the kind of fit you're looking for. And other colors they have I believe are blue, red, um, I think like a dark green and maybe a gray or silver. I may be mistaken but if you're interested and purchasing these gloves or at least just checking them out. I actually purchased mine from Box Up Nation. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out there. Uh, now, I've been a big fan of bag gloves, bag mitts if you want to call it for a very long time. I've integrated it as part of my training, uh, specifically for heavy bag work. Now, a lot of people gravitate toward these old school style of bag gloves because of the fact that when you're using this over a prolonged period of time, it helps really strengthen your knuckles. It's kind of like that. Uh, that saying of, of when you callus something over, a lot of times you see a lot of boxers train their abdominal muscles or even their arms or forearms uh, with a tap method. And it's kind of the same thing with like uh, Muay Thai where they kind of train their shins and, and for the, the prolonged use and over the years it kind of gets numb uh, to the feeling of the impact. And it's kind of the similar kind of concept with the bag gloves. You don't have that much padding over the knuckles. So you're really forced to be able to punch uh, with correct form, you know, and you get a much more visceral feel when you do land your punch You can really feel the shock you can really feel the impact and it helps strengthen your knuckles your wrists and your forearms And it just gives you a much better feel I really love the feel of my knuckles piercing through the gloves and impact into the heavy bag One thing I do recommend is if you do use these gloves um, Be wary if you have any kind of knuckle soreness or injuries you will re-aggravate it using these type of gloves um, because they're not meant for protection in that regard um, so be wary of that uh, but if you have no issues with that then by all means I think you would enjoy using these type of gloves uh, now design wise looking at it these are handmade in Mexico they're made in small batches they're not a mass-produced glove I did a review on the Gill um, boxing gloves I think there were 16 ounce if I recall a while back I was really impressed with the quality of those handmade in Mexico um, beautiful colorway um, I love the way the hand compartment felt, really nice deep finger compartment. Uh, so my expectations with these bag gloves are really high. Um, the leather on here you can see is it's probably some of the best I've seen in terms of a Mexican uh, glove. It's really thick, high quality. Um, it feels like a tank honestly. These feel like they're built to last for a very long time. I mean you could probably throw these on the ground and run them over with the car and they'd probably be in good shape still. That's how thick and durable this glove feels. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It just feels like it's meant to be used for a very long time and maybe even hand down to the next generation of boxers. So uh, the leather on here has more of a matte finish. You also have that single white stitching that contains uh, the foam padding on here. The foam I believe is a latex style foam that has a, a little bit more of a softer density. I'd say maybe a three quarter to almost an inch of padding over the knuckle area. And you can see that right there. The gloves themselves weighed in anywhere between about, I think the left mitt was right at 9.7 ounces, the right was about 10 ounces. So there's definitely some weight to this uh, just because of the thickness of the leather. It's not synthetic and it's it's really hefty if, I, if you want to call it that. You also have uh, the Velcro strap, which is about almost two inches, so maybe an inch and three quarters in height. You also have the gill patch that says uh, professional and just like their gloves is actually upside down or right side up I guess just depending how you want to look at it uh, but a lot of Mexican companies uh, at Mexico will put the logo facing down with the the lettering facing down towards the glove where some most brands will have it to where you're, if you're looking straight on the glove like this you can read it across but for this I guess you can consider it upside down um, you have the velcro strap right here uh, which I'm not a big fan of with these bag mitts and I'll explain to you guys here in a second that I feel like it really doesn't do anything to be honest with you. It doesn't offer very much uh, support to be honest with you. Uh, I think, I mean, aesthetically it looks good and I love the piping that you, they use on here. You can see it's super thick. But to be honest with you, I really don't feel like it offers any wrist support. So to me, it's kind of pointless to have a, a Velcro strap there. If anything, they should have just done uh, with like a nice piece of elastic to go across. 
uh, that holds the bottom cuff together because I really don't feel like this really does much of anything, to be honest with you. That's just my opinion. Um, you have this number three. I'm not too sure what that means. It is a size large. Uh, maybe it's like the, the, the manufacturer, whoever is making it in the factory, that's their number. Um, and then you can also see the, the latex foam. Uh, the inside liner is kind of similar to a lot of the Mexican style liners you have on there. It's almost like a, a water repellent uh, nylon liner, but it has more of a kind of a wrinkly feel to it on the inside. And then you can actually see they also use, um, it's almost like a, uh, I don't know if it's like a can like a soft canvas liner on the inside as well. Um, you do have a closed up thumb, uh, which I feel is a little bit on the small side. And I'll explain that here in a second as well. And then you also have a grip bar that's actually nice and dense uh, and has a good size to it as well. Um, so that's right there. So that's pretty much it. There's really nothing to it. Quality wise, these gloves are, are excellent. I mean, uh, they've held up nicely. Uh, you can see that the leather quality is fantastic. The stitching looks really good. Um, you know, in terms of areas where you can find any kind of fault, I didn't really see any issues with the stitching on the edges where the leather meets the inside portion leather. So the outside where it contains the actual latex foam, you know, the grip bar is stitched in nicely. Uh, the tip of the thumb looks good. Uh, the, the part where they attach the, the thumb to the mid itself. You can see done is done very nicely. The leather, obviously I spoke about that already, is top notch. You know, there's the logo. I guess you can cut that a little cleaner. Um, the Velcro strap, I feel again, is a little bit on the overkill side, but if you wanna just talk from a quality standpoint, the strap is very nice. You can see the leather on there is beautiful as well. Really nice and thick. Uh, and the liner looks really good. Um, and I guess we can't really say much about weight. I mean, these, these mitts are at about 10 ounces, but they're not a weighted glove per se. So uh, in terms of weight, there's really nothing to compare it to. Um, and it's, it's again, it, it didn't come out like they didn't say, okay, this is a 12 ounce uh, bag mitt. So uh, for a weight, you know, there's really nothing to compare it to there, but um, these are definitely nicely constructed. Uh, comfort of these mitts. So when you slide your hand in here, the first thing I noticed was the Velcro strap. I felt it really doesn't do anything. Um, I have full rotation of my hand. Like if as if the Velcro strap wasn't there, to be honest with you. So I, again, I feel if there wasn't a piece of elastic, that would have been a better job. I just feel like this Velcro strap is a little bit overkill, um, in my opinion. Um, the thumb is definitely too short. So I feel like uh, they should have made the thumb compartment a little bit larger. I have a pair of my Barrick bag mitts and the thumb is definitely a little bit deeper and a little bit wider. Um, and I feel it's more comfortable. So I feel for the size large, you know, my hands are, I guess, I guess for comparison's sake, about normal size hands. I don't have huge hands. I'm not a big, big dude. Uh, my thumb isn't huge either. And so I could imagine if I was someone that had larger fingers or longer thumbs or just bigger hands, this would definitely cause some discomfort. So um, what I'm probably gonna end up doing, which I'm kind of hesitant to do, is I might end up just cutting this tip off so I don't feel like my thumb jams in there anymore. I might have to cut it off that way it's open. Um, and then I won't have to worry about that. So, you know, one of two things, they could have made the thumb bigger, the compartment larger, or just had it to where this part was open. That's just my opinion. Um, the grip bar has nice placement. It is latex foam padding. So you can see, I mean, opening and closing my hand. And that's what you're looking for with a good bag glove or bag mitt. You want that full autonomy. You know, obviously it's not attached, your, your thumb is detached. So being able to really roll your fingers, make a tight fist and get your thumb tucked underneath to hold in your two, your index and your middle finger into place. And that way, when you land these two front knuckles right here, they land right where they need to be at. And you can see that has that nice flat punching surface, but you definitely get excellent bang. Uh, the liner on the inside is a little bit on the rough side. So you do have to get accustomed to that rugged feel. It doesn't bother me, but if you're coming for the, from a lot of these newer gloves that are very luxurious feeling, they have these really silky smooth liners and they use neoprene on the fingertip compartment. Um, just, they feel great, right? Um, these don't feel like that. These feel much more rugged. These feel like, hey, I can use these for years and it, it eventually will break in. You do feel that there's this really large seam of leather exposed that goes kind of upwards into your finger right here when you, when you pull down on it. Um, so, you know, it would have been nice if they put a piece of felt over that just to kind of give you a little bit more of a comfort feel to it. But there is a pretty large seam right there that you do feel. Um, but the width of the finger compartment feels really good. It's not too narrow. I didn't feel like at any point when I was using this on the heavy back 
that my fingers would kind of like jam or rub against each other or it was too wide to where my, my hand would kind of shift around in the bag glove. So comfort's definitely there. I would say just the thumb needs to be fixed as well as maybe co co uh, cover that seam on the inside. Um, as far as the protection and performance, this is not a protective style glove. Uh, I know I mentioned that earlier, I just mentioned it again. This is a bag glove. It's meant to work on strengthening your hands, your wrist, your forearms, and to give you that maximum power transfer and feedback uh, that you're looking for uh, on the heavy bag. Um, my recommendation for these is I would probably stay away from the really densely filled heavy bags. I was using it on my Nazo bag. And after maybe about three rounds, you can really feel the shock and my wrist started to get kind of sore. Um, so I would recommend using this more on a softer filled heavy bag. Uh, you'll be able to go longer duration wise, be able to go longer rounds as well as more rounds because you're not gonna be putting a lot of stress on your hands uh, with this type of glove, especially with this latex foam padding that's really soft. You're gonna feel every shot that you land. So do keep that in mind. Uh, Cost-wise, the bag gloves are $69, which I think is a great price uh, for a handmade in Mexico bag glove of this quality. Um, I think it's a great price. I mean, 69 bucks, you can't really go wrong. You have two different sizes, several colorways to choose from. Um, I feel like if they can fix the small little comfort issues with like the thumb um, and that little inner piece on the, on the finger compartment, then these would be uh, just a, overall a fantastic bag. Man, I think they're almost right there. Um, again, I might end up modifying mine a little bit and just cut this tip off so my thumb has a little bit more room to breathe because it's pretty tight right there. And when I land my jab, like if I'm throwing my, my jab, I feel like my, my hand shift, you know, shifts just a little bit, and which you do with all gloves, and it ends up just constantly rubbing right here at the very tip of that, that thumb compartment. So that's just my, my biggest, uh, I guess, complaint uh, with these. But overall, I'm, I'm really satisfied. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Gil old school Mexican bag gloves. I'll see you guys later. Peace.